What's going on guys? So got a new video for you today. Uh, apologize for it not being a good one. Just the update video. Um, uh, so the reason there hasn't been any videos, I'll just give it to you straight. I am dry as hell on my um, my JMO account. The, the, the account I'm doing the Petscape series, I... Uh, I, I can't get in. I have, I've made nothing. Like I have I have no no new pets. And like in the last week or so, I think I've only I have like one clip that's worthwhile. I just been super dry everywhere. Uh, my kill counts on every single boss that I'm actually attempting right now is 300 plus, some 500 plus. Uh, I've done a good chunk of skilling um, and haven't gotten any of those pets. So it's just been it's been really unlucky. And and uh, we're not really doing the duos anymore. I know that that was kind of a disappointment, but uh, John didn't want to do it anymore, so we. Um, uh, we're just doing our own thing now, uh, and at the moment, John has like four accounts. He's he's doing a, a million different things, and I got one. So I'm thinking we got to do a million different things too. We need to we need to get this content out right. Uh, so I have three good ideas that I like. So the first one is there's a series called um, it's it's one day it, basically I think it's from Nothing Last right. I I should have probably looked that up before I started trying to give somebody credit for it. Um, but the idea is, for some people who can't play that much, um, and he does this on old school, so it's on actual OSRS, he plays w uh, one hour a day for every day. So he only is, he's only allowed to play one hour every day. Um, because they, he figures, you know, for people who can't play much, they can probably get in at least one hour. And so his goal is to try to get as maximum efficiency as possible within that one hour, um, just to see how far he can get in a certain amount of time. So I think that could be a pretty cool idea. That's a pretty easy series to do. Obviously, all I have to do is... Uh, go on one account for an hour or so uh, and then another idea I have and this was something I was always going to do anyways um, so it's uh, to make a skiller uh, there's a polymyth cape uh, that most of you guys know about it's basically a max skiller cape it requires all 99s except for the, for the uh, non-combat ones um, and then where, it's, where that kind of gets tricky is the fact that it does require slayer and invention and those are pretty hard skills to train uh, so I kind of want to do it I'm going to do it as an Iron Man to prove that it's a, you can get it 100% legit it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a challenge. It's not gonna be easy or anything like that. It might take a little while, but um, I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Um, with the thing with those two new accounts, I'm not gonna give you uh, the names until like the first video of those comes out. You know what I mean? So uh, if you don't see me on JMO this like next couple week or so, uh, yeah, I'm on a sneaky account. Um, I've I, I did this before with Pepper, and it, I, it went pretty well. There was there was a couple people who knew it was me just because the way I answered questions. I always, I always replied to people in the clan chat and whatnot, um, and that gave myself away. So I'm going to try not to do that this time. We'll see if anybody can uh, figure it out. But, um, yeah, I have those two ideas. I really like those. Obviously, if you don't like them, let me know. Um, but that should help out, and it should be entertaining. Uh, as well as the Worth It series, that's always going to stay around. I actually have... Uh, uh, well, this, this video is right here is about the updates. So let's get into those. Uh, Void was recently nerfed. We did the video, the Worth It video on it, and we determined that it was just too good for how easy it was to obtain. So we made some adjustments and tweaks, and it should now be, um, it's, it is a slight nerf, but I do want to test it again and compare it to um, everything. So I don't know if I'll do that soon because I'm too lazy, but uh, definitely look forward to that in the near future. I am actually going to do, I think the next video I'm going to work on is 100 Loots from Rock, the new Donator boss. It just got uh, nerfed again today. Uh, so the nerf really wasn't much of the nerf. Um, the loots, let me show you what the loots look like. You're probably wondering where the hell I'm at. I'll explain that in a bit, too. Uh, let's look at rocks, so. Nope, not that one. That one, so. Uh, the main change you'll notice is before it used to have two um, of these fossils here, and it was guaranteed. Now it's a curve bone, and then this fossil is rare. Um, the amounts, I believe, are not guaranteed anymore on some of these items, where you're, you're not just going to get 500. That's that's my dog being sad about being locked up. Nope. But uh, the chances of everything is it's still the same, so that the loots have not been nerfed that much. Um, the boss deals one-fourth damage now uh, through prayer. So basically, the max hit of rock right now, if you're not praying, is 41. And then if you are praying, that max hit, if he hits a 41, will be a 10. So it'll do one-fourth of the original damage it will. So people are acting like this is like the nerf of all nerfs. Uh, calm down. People, pe calm down. I, I guarantee half the people who have been complaining about it have not even done it. They've, they've killed it one, tw one time and they're like, nope. I've been doing it for a couple minutes on Jam. I'm just trying to get pet. And it seems fine. I'm about to go do a, I'm about to do a, a loot from 100 video. And that'll probably be the next thing you see. If not, another episode of the Petscape video. Because I think I have, I think I have like eight minutes of the Petscape. 
And um, depending on what, if, if I can get maybe lucky, you'll see a video. That's that's, that's what we'll leave it at. But uh, uh, in terms of the other updates, we have minnows. So with minnows, you have um, you can get here if without max yield, but you're gonna you're gonna need full angler. So if you're not maxed, you need full angler, and all you have to do is use the boat that is found in the fishing guild. If you are maxed, you can just go to the max guild, then go south to the skilling portal and teleport here. Um, let me show you kind of what it looks like. So uh, you do get these minnow, which are stackable, but then you also have a chance of getting seaweed every once in a while. That's just to prevent people from AFK and, because you know, or, or, or botting. Well, really, more so, like, if you, if you didn't have the seaweed, I don't think it would ever stop you. So you would just continuously fish for, like, ten years, and I can imagine people would definitely do that, so... Uh, yeah, but it is definitely more AFK because you're not guaranteed to see me. As you can tell, I've not gotten any. Uh, well, wait, ignore those. It's not guaranteed. It's a one in six chance. So it is a lot more AFK for fishing than the other methods. And it is actually a pretty decent experience. And whenever you have a good chunk of minnows, you go over here and uh, exchange whatever amount you have. We'll just do 110 for silver raw sharks. So while we're here, we'll show off the uh, Max Guild. So Max Guild got some new changes. You can see Unfinished Potion Maker. Uh, there's now Max Guild uh, tablets, which you can buy from Tor over here. Uh, and then also just a little junk store. You can sell stuff too if you need to. Uh, this is a bonfire. You can use bonfire. Um, normal ult over there. That's, that's pretty standard. I think the mammoths over here is pretty standard. Um, you can find Matameo. Met 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 or whatever the fossil dude uh the reason i added him here for people who are wondering um the other way is going from fossil so you have to like tell you have to like he's he's further away from fossil so it's kind of annoying to exchange a bunch of fossils if you have them so if you put that here you'll uh you know it's a, you basically right next to the bank same with uh emblems this was less of an issue because edgeville is real, real close to the bank but um roughly the same so you also have these portals down here uh so this one is a god horse portal and it teleports you right to the room let me just show you Shared Omen. And, uh, yeah. Um, and then this is the scaling portal right over here. Got some good ones. This is how you would get to the minnows. Uh, there's a vault room, which is thieving method. There. There's a couple other methods in there as well. A couple other. It's more towards higher tier. And whatnot, and uh, I think that is a good place to farm or not farm cook, as this dude is doing. Uh, so that's roughly it. Uh, not a whole lot new. There are uh, adventurers here now, but I don't, I don't think that's too important. Uh, if you have any suggestions, anything like that, let me know. I did have. Uh, I do want to do more to it. It's not 100% finished yet. Um, if you have any ideas, that'll 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 go a long way towards that. Uh, voting system has been uh, redone. I don't. I mean, it's. If you can vote, cool beans. Uh, I don't know if I can really show much of that. Not really, but uh, yeah, <laughs> voting should be fixed. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I should have um, either the 100 Rock video or the Petscape video out tomorrow. Uh, whichever one you don't see, I'll upload the next day. So uh, should have some decent videos coming out soon.